Hey, hey, so what's up? If you've made it here, you've probably made it past the first part of Bounty. Bounty stands for become one with the internet. And that's our aim here to just give people the tools to create your own live stream environments, weird interactive worlds, um, and just use all this tech that's available to piece things together and get mad creative. This is part two, where we'll be getting into environments, more specifically creating your own custom assets in order to build up your environments. Part one was all about character and creating your character. And we should be at this stage now. If you're not, you might want to start from the first Bounty playlist. But yeah, playlist two, environment, should be a tight little package. If you follow this along, you should be able to create multi-layered, multi-textured custom assets, a little bit of modeling help going on in here as well, and to be able to place them in your Unreal environment. Should be fun, let's get it. Quickest, easiest way to do this, which you might have worked out already if you've been following the previous tutorials, is using Quixel. If we open up Bridge, you can check a previous video to see installation of Bridge. You can click on this, collections, quite useful, environment, say urban, city street, and you know, this will give you a nice collection of stuff you know is gonna fit quite nicely together. I'm gonna check out the urban renaissance revival. You know, it's pretty neat. I like this. Let's see if we can do a combo. I'm gonna get some more of this. That's nice, that's nice, and that's nice. Maybe we'll do a kind of bay window interior. So download a load of assets. Probably quite a wasteful way to do this. I'm filling up my hard drive in no time. But got your Unreal open. Go back to bridge, export that. And make sure your export target is the right place. Unreal Engine 4.27 installs that plugin all good. Looks like there's an update, so let's do that. Go back to your overarching content folder. Should have a mega scans up now. 3D assets. And there we go, we got our asset, we got our maps. Got our materials, everything set up nicely. Drag that in real quick and position that. Um, what you could do is just copy that out. You can hold Alt and drag. I'll create another one. And we've already got some shadows going on, which is cool, coming through the windows. Space bar to rotate. Hold Shift, 90 degree rotation. Hit space again. You know, it's super. Super quick, but just example, we're now in a trendy rooftop bar drinking cocktails with Optimus Prime. Hopefully that gives you a bit of an insight into uh, a real basic way to drag assets in really quickly with Quixel Bridge, but uh, definitely got to stress that you've got to use this stuff sparingly. These assets can be super, super heavy, so it takes some optimizing. Um, gonna go a little further into that in the next video. Cheers. Boom. Mm.